Well, hi there. Happy Monday to you. Hope you're doing well at the start of this week. You know, it's been amazing getting to start this series, going through the book of Philippians, What's on Your Mind? And hopefully you received a little booklet that has the scripture and has a place for notes. And we re- want to really encourage you to use that to dive deeper each week, just reflecting on, on the passage that we've gone through and looking ahead, reflecting and praying through the passage that's ahead. And, you know, as we encourage you to dive deeper, we want to start to give you some tools of what that would look like. And one of the best things to do to begin uh, diving deeper is to pray through any passage. And sometimes we don't know what to pray. And when you get yourself in that situation, I encourage you to, to pray through the scripture. And what's neat about the book of Philippians is there's actually several prayers that, that Paul pens um, that we can pray. And so usually one of the things that I do if I'm praying through a scripture is I'll just recite uh, Psalm 119.18, which says, Open up my eyes, Lord, to behold wondrous things from your law. And I'll just say a quick prayer like that. And then I'll look at the scripture, like, for example, Philippians 1, verses 9 and 10 that we looked over a couple weeks ago. And, and it says um, that it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with all knowledge and discernment. So I would just say a prayer something like this. I would say, Lord God, I, I pray that you would allow my love, that it would abound to more and more. Help me to receive your love. Help me to understand it more and to give it. And Lord, to grow in your love with all knowledge and discernment so that I might be able to approve what is excellent, so that I might be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, that I would be filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and the praise of God. And that's it. And, uh, you know, you would maybe ask the Lord, help me. Lord, help me to do these things. You might pray this over someone else. You might pray this over those at Valley, a part of our church. Uh, you might go back from the, the passage that we went over at the sermon yesterday and maybe the aspect that convicted you and you might say, Lord, help, help me to do this a- and maybe confess to the Lord. You might look ahead in chapter 2 where Paul continues on in his exhortation to really for us to be unified together. And, and you, might, you might pray something like, Lord, I, I pray that you would help me not to have selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility to count others as more significant than myself. And that's it. And you, you pray through the scripture, you meditate on the scripture, and, and it can come alive, the scripture, in many ways when you do that. Well, I hope this is a, a helpful uh, tool for you as, as you seek to dive deeper and as we go through the book of Philippians and as we seek to have our minds changed, to have our mind set on Christ. Well, I hope you have a great week.